<laughs> Someone's just come home and we watch. They'll walk through that door and I'll be like, hello Hannah, and disrupt the video so I'll have to edit it out. Anyway. Hello everybody, um, it is February already, I hope everyone's having a good month so far, I know the people in my year aren't because it's currently my exam time and it sucks. Um, but I am here with my monthly favourites and I have got a lot. I'm not quite sure what happened this month, but apparently I loved a lot of things, so last month, this is January favourites, February. Okay, I'm just going to get on with it. So. Uh, I'll start with skincare and then go on to makeup. So, skincare. I have been loving the sanct it the try again, shall we? Warming detox charcoal wash by Sanctuary. Uh, it's not going to focus. See if oh. Anyway, oh, there we go. So it looks like this. Um, basically, I use it every morning when I get up. Um, you just pour some on your hand, foam it up a bit, put it on your face, and it the charcoal sort of warms up, and it really wakes you up in the morning. And I absolutely love that. And then I also use it at night just to get everything off my face, and it's just nice to wake up with, really and it's it has a really weird smell I don't think many people would like it but I do so I don't know, really know what that says about me but there we go and then um, after I do that I then go in with my toner water which was in my last haul video I done um, it's from Lush and I use it once I have sort of wash my face and I feel a bit fresher I use it then and then I also use it once I've taken my makeup off at night I then re-use it to get any leftover that may be still on there and I really really this has to be my fa all time favourite product of the month it is I've used it every single day and I don't do that often with products so I love this I recommend it and it was pretty inexpensive too for what it does and I really 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 like it so I will um, I've got quite an array this month so I'm just gonna go with whatever um next I have it's all kind of got an order now actually um, next, in the shower, I have been using the Amandi, I want to say. Um, it's all in French, and it's the Cleansing and Softening Shower Oil by Locatane. And I've actually got the travel size one because it is really expensive, and this month's been a bit short of money because um, all the sort of trans transactions that have been pending have all come at once, and now it's like. Where's my money gone? So, um, but it's it's an oil, as you can see. But when you put it on the skin and sort of foam it in, it's like it just comes out as a now normal shower gel, and it's really, really it makes my skin really, really soft. And I really, really like that because I have dry skin. So I don't think I've actually smelled it. It smells quite perfumey. It smells nice, I've just got it all over me. Okay. Um, but I like that. So it is quite expensive and it's not the travel size one I actually got from someone else because I only my mum got it for Christmas and I was using her big one which was like 29 quid or something like that. And she was like, I'll just fill up a little travel size thing for you so you don't use my one. So Oh, someone's texting me. So that's what happened, and I don't know where I'm going to put that. Put that back in. Okay, next I have got the. So I've come out of the shower, I've dried, and I'm getting ready to sort of get dressed. 
and I apply the Sympathy for the Skin Hand and Body Lotion by um, Soap and Glory. No, Lush. Let's try again. Lush it's by. Um, it smells so nice. It's banana and cocoa butter um, and vanilla lemon oil and some other things which I cannot read. I'm not a very good reader so I'm not going to even try. Um, it smells amazing. I've only got a little tub but I will buy a bigger one when I run out. But I can happily say this has lasted me absolutely ages. I think I started using it at Christmas and I'm still using it now and there's still plenty and I just absolutely love it. It's one of the best products I feel they've made and it's not got loads of chemicals in it and I really like that because chemicals on my skin just don't go because um, the Soap and Glory uh, moisturiser I bought in my haul and showed you it actually I was actually allergic to it and it broke me out really badly and I'm still kind of recovering from that now so my skin isn't great um, nothing wrong with Soap and Glory I use pretty much all their other products I absolutely love their scrubs just the moisturiser just didn't suit my skin so I am currently going without a moisturiser which isn't doing me any good at all but what can you do? Next I will move on, oh one more sort of product along that line, it is the strawberry hand cream by The Body Shop, absolutely love it, it smells absolutely incredible, I love it, look at some more. and it soaks, it sinks in really really quickly it just smells, it's quite a strong scent, so if you don't like strong scents in your hands it's not a great one to use, but they have so many other scents that are really nice. But I just love the scent, it's just amazing. I like it, it reminds me of summer and I like that. So, okay, now I will actually get on to the makeup stuff. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is these, they were all in colour order but I just mucked it up. These um, lip glosses, they're by Seventeen, I don't think I've ever heard of that brand before. I think I actually got these as a set at Christmas about three years ago probably now. And I weren't keen on lip glosses, I just weren't really into them, I preferred lipstick. But now I really really like them, I found them the other day in my makeup thing that I don't really use. And I absolutely love them, I'm actually currently wearing wearing this one. Am I? Probably. Looks close enough. Um, some of them are shimmery, some of them slightly more matte. They don't feel sticky which I like because I don't enjoy having sticky lips. I just don't like sticky, don't like feeling sticky or anything. Um, there's so many different, I don't know whether you can get these individually but I, I got them at well, someone got them for me at Boots and I really, really like these so I might have a look, see if there's sort of a bigger one because they're only very... Someone's texting me, I will put my phone on silent but I really, really like them. I really, really like a lot of stuff this month. Next, so this next one is the Lottie London Makeup Brush. Um, I showed this to you in my haul video as well um, and it is the blusher brush and I really really like this. It's really 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 soft. I like the colour. It's very it's a very nice blue. And I love it. I've used it every day instead of my other brush that I was using and I just really enjoy it. These are the Kiku um, long lasting stick 8 hour no transfer eyeshadows. I've got more but I didn't want to. Basically it is a stick eyeshadow and they look like this. This one is a very dark, sort of sparkly pink. Um, that is what it looks like. And the other one I have is a sort of more nudie pink. Um, they are long lasting, they last the whole day. They are super easy to apply and quite easy to blend out so it's really good in a school day when I'm in a real rush to get out the door because I slept in late like always. Um, I really like them 
and I've got a gold one somewhere but I can't currently find it but I will find it so yeah next is the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel and the colour is dark number three dark brown and basically it looks like this and it is a little eyebrow brush with a tint in it and as I've just had my hair dyed my eyebrows don't really match because it's quite a dark brown compared to my natural colour um, so I've been using this to tint my eyebrows to make it look like it matches a bit more and I really really like it it doesn't take long to dry which is incredible because I don't have time in the morning like I said I get up late almost every day I don't have time to sit there for five minutes and wait for my eyebrows to dry but it doesn't take that long thank god and it is super easy to use and it works and I love it so yeah if anyone needs a new eyebrow product this is the real deal last two things um first one I dropped something first one is a brand called Kiss Air Candles um basically they do candles surprise surprise not that the name gave it away at all but um I can quite easily say I prefer this brand to Yankee Candles and that is saying something because I love Yankee Candles um, this one, they come in two different sizes, this one is a small one, they all have really really cute, I think I've mentioned the, the brand before, I'm not sure, I think it may have been my first ever video I've done, I'm not sure, anyway, um, and they are natural soya waxed infused with a fab fabulous fragrance, um, there it is, this one is pina colada, and it smells like I want to get drunk. Um, it smells exactly as it says. It's a really fresh lemony scent. I've actually got one burning in the background, which you can't really see because my my H is taken over. That one is pomegranate. I don't know what the exact name is, but it's a pomegranate one. And I just really love these. They burn for ages. They smell great, and it is my favourite ever candle brand. They are made locally and a small percentage, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, I think I've done it but I don't know whether I've cut it out of the video or not, but um, a small percentage goes to a local charity and I really like that and I just love these, I love them. Okay, last product, this has been a bit of a 15 minutes so far, no, never mind, 25. Um, this is a little book I got from Hobbycraft. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's, the, it's sort of a arts and craft mega centre sort of thing. Um, and they're just little notepads and there's sort of all different designs. My light isn't being good to me today. And they're just so lovely for notes and stuff. Um, they said it's exam season or mock exam season and everyone's all happy because we're all having to go in for like an hour and then we get to come home again which is really stupid because some of us live quite far away from school but there we go can't help it um, and these are just perfect for putting notes on or making flashcards and they are all really pretty designs there's lots of different ones these were made by someone these specific ones were designed by someone it said them on the front cover which actually broke off um, I can't remember who it was, but and you just get lots of different ones. Um, there's loads in here. There are two. Oh, I don't know. Um, but there's different packs as well that you can get. And I love, love, love these. They are my lifesaver right now. So, sorry, I hiccuped. So. That is all of my January favourites. I feel like this video has gone on forever. Um, my bed is certainly covered in products, but it has been worth it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for next week's video because I was gonna do a makeup look sort of thing. But as I said, um, Soap and Glory have sort of, their moisturizer haven't been good to my skin and I don't wanna put loads of product on my skin right now. So I am keeping away from that. Um, so I'm not gonna do a makeup tutorial, I don't think, unless something massively changes. 
So I need to think of a video because I had it all planned out and now I'm not going to do it. So sorry about that. I will try and think of something and I will try and fit time in to edit and post the video but we'll see. It may not be Friday but it will be soon after. So if you like the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you liked. I'll leave all the products in the description below um, with their links if I can find them all. That is, I don't think the hobby craft stuff I will find. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye! So I will check out the brand and give you all a uh, note when I discover.